Hello friends, my name is Siddharth Sina. This video is on JIB Accounting and Finance for Bankers Unit Number One Calculation of Interest and Annuities. This is just a part of the video. Okay, there are uh, there are no n number of videos, so this is just a part of the video. If you want to avail the full course of the JIB, you could call us on this number, which is four times nine six eight five one two seven. Now let us start a chapter. The first point is that simple interest. What do you understand by the simple interest? Simple interest is that interest is calculated at fixed percent. Simple logic is. Interest is calculated fixed percentage, okay, fixed percentage, and here interest is not reinvested. Here interest is not reinvested, okay. For example, rupees one thousand with simple interest of ten percent for five years. Now, what is the question? Rupees uh, rupees one thousand with simple interest of one ten percent for five years. It is required to be cal do a uh, calculation. So here for every five years. So for here every year that is continuous for five years. So for so for here every years continuous for five years you will be get a interest of rupees one hundred only. What will interest hundred rupees only and the principal principal amount also not changes. Principal amount also not changes. Okay. Now come to compound interest. So in case of compound interest interest is reinvested. In case of compound interest interest is reinvested. Okay. Over certain period of time. Okay. So here, in case of compound interest, interest is reinvested over a period of time, and here it, it is uh, known as to be calculated as interest over interest. Okay, so here interest is reinvested, and interest is uh, that is interest over interest. So here, and for doing calculations of compound interest, at least two years or two period is not two years, two period is required. How many period is required? Two period. See, if you take, if anyone asks the compound interest for one year and simple interest for one year, both are the same. If anyone asks the question that compound interest for one year what will be or for one period what will be and simple interest for one period what will be so both the case answer will be same okay only answer will start different uh, differentiating from the second year so that's why from second period okay that's why interest is changed more than once okay in a given period of time basically two period of time is required to be uh, given if there is three period of time. Then two times will be changed. Four period of time, then three times will be interest will be changed like that. Example: one thousand rupees with ten percent compound interest. Okay, one thousand rupees with ten percent compound interest, which means hundred will be the interest for the first year. Okay, and in case of second year, principal amount will be changed. Now, what is the principal amount? Thousand rupees plus one hundred rupees interest will be the principal amount that becomes one thousand one hundred rupees, and On which interest will be calculated for the second year? So it will become hundred ten rupees. And for the third year, what will the principal amount? Thousand one hundred plus one hundred ten rupees. It becomes one ten rupees is the interest. So it becomes total of one thousand two hundred ten rupees, which is the new principal amount for the third year. Okay. And on which interest is required to be calculated? So what will the interest? Two hundred ten rupees will be the interest. Okay. So what will be the interest? Two hundred ten rupees will be the interest. And on the fourth year, one two one zero plus two one zero will be added. Like that, it will go on. Now, compound interest earns more than simple interest. Okay, so compound interest gives more revenue. Compound interest gives more revenue or gives more earnings as compared to simple interest. Compound interest. If we come to compound interest and we start doing calculations. So it is given annually, semi-annually. So annually will give the lowest compound interest. Annually will give the lowest compound interest, and daily will give the highest compound interest. Okay. So if uh, if you are asking of the compound interest, annually will give the lowest compound interest, daily will give the highest compound interest. So if you arrange in a systematic manner, so annually followed after so annually will be the least after that semi-annually and after that quarterly and after that monthly and after that weekly and maximum maximum interest will be given in the daily basis. In bank we follow the rule of daily basis only. Okay, in bank we follow the rule of daily basis only. Okay, either of the fixed deposit or of the loan. Rule number of seventy-two. <clears throat> rule of seventy-two. Rule of seventy-two. So it helps in finding the approximate number of years which is required to double your money. So it helps in finding the approximate number of years to double your money with yearly compounding. What is compounding? Yearly compounding. Okay, fixed interest rate. So here, interest rate remains constant. Fixed interest rate means interest rate remains constant. Floating interest rate means here the interest rate changes with the time, 
and front end interest means interest is deducted from principal amount and after that net amount is disbursed so in case of front end interest interest is what what the interest is doing so interest is being deducted first of all interest is deducted from the principal and after that net amount is disbursed got the point so by this way okay so i will end the video over here so please write down all the points whatever written on the board in your notebook which will help you preparation and boost your preparation okay you could buy jib video course package over here in which the course contains its uh, video lecture course case study or numerical video 4500 set of question bank per paper super notes quick revision note 10 mock test per paper then uh, jib course in jib course you require to do face to face video lecture course in which if you do the jib principles or legal paper it will cost rupees 1200 if you do the jib accounting it will cost 1500 if you do the jib comma pack means entire three paper it will become rupees 3000 for more information call us our number is 4 times 9 6 8 5 1 2 7 second number is 7 8 2 7 5 4 6 9 4 6 you could visit the website and place an online order order over there website is www.jbcbstudymodel.com email id is sinha123.gmail.com